or Taco Tuesday, what they call it, something like that. It's your girl, aka Chocolate Barbie. Live never be the life. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are doing great. Um, if you want to know the weather here, if you care, I don't know if you do care. If you're here, I don't know. Whatever. It's cold um, still, and uh, it's it's nighttime right now, and um, there's snow, a lot of snow on the ground, and um, it's been great. <laughs> but whatever besides that i'm here to show you guys how to cook one of my favorite dishes um i grew up eating this my mom used to make it all the time she actually used to make chicken fajitas i loved yeah i love because i used to love it but you know yeah well yeah whatever i got older still made it myself loved it whatever i don't eat anymore because i don't eat chicken duh but anywho um i love chicken fajitas um the peppers, the onions, all that stuff, which is so good. But then she will also make enchiladas, and I love enchiladas as well. Actually, okay, let me, <laughs> you know, we can go on like, oh, and I love nachos too. And oh, I love tacos too. <laughs> like, I love all kinds of food. We can go forever about me and Latin food. Like, man, it, the love is real, for real, for real. You know, I love my stuff hot, or you know, I like it hot and spicy. <laughs> Anywho, so what I'm gonna make for you guys is basically uh enchiladas with a little fajita mix kind of twist. Uh the reason why I make it like this is because I like 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 I said, I like enchiladas. Um, but now I don't eat meat, so it's a little different. Instead of doing pulled chicken like we used to, uh with the mole sauce and things like that, um we do uh the fajita vegetables. Um, there's also other ways you can use, uh, other things you can use, which is like seton, which is um, a vegan form of meat. Uh, it's called, it's wheat gluten and you boil it. It's a whole thing. I have to show you guys how to make that. That's a whole nother thing. <laughs> how to make vegan meat. It's, it, it works well and it's definitely a great replacement, but it's definitely not like, like that to get it. But anyway, that's besides the fact. Today, I'm showing you guys how to make this delicious uh, dish or casserole. And uh, yeah, watch me do it. Come on. So, get, see y'all can see. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, all right. So, as you see, I have my pan here. dish to be um bell peppers red yellow green whatever uh chop it up slice it and then you're going to saute it with onions i'm using red onions also inside the fajita mix i love red onions they you know have like this own little taste to them that's just very very noticeable and it stands out and I love it. So I definitely like to incorporate that inside my fajita, fajita mix because it's kind of sweet, just like the peppers. So FYI, FYI. Also, we're gonna be using this. I like this stuff so much. I actually came upon this on accident. I, someone was like, gave me like, no, you should do this or whatever. I was like, really? I don't know. But you know, it was on sale for a deal. I tried, it's called Chipotle Adobo cooking sauce by Tapatio. Um, I, I'm not mistaken, they have hot sauce too, which is pretty good. I think I've had it before, like from the restaurants. I was like, let me get some hot sauce, like at Denny's. And they're like, oh, we don't, oh, you know what? That might be, no, it's Chalua. It's Chalua and it's Tapatio, I think. Whatever. All in all, good shit, all right? So I also use this to put on top of my uh, enchiladas, all right? And then we're also going to be using tomatoes. I have here a whole bowl of diced tomatoes. This is another thing to use with the sauce. So you guys will see that when it gets to that part. So just regular diced tomatoes. I also have 
some refried beans. Refried beans, make sure that they're vegetarian option because something that I had to learn the hard way is that they can also have lard in it, which is definitely not what us vegans are eating, right? Right. So with that said, make sure you look for the, the vegetarian option or just in general, the one that does not have lard is made with just canola or soybean and stuff like that. Cocoa, cocoa. Now I also have jalapenos here. Now this is if you're a spicy person. Again, I like it hot and spicy. Y'all already know. If you know me, you know me. <laughs> but um, if you want to kick, kick it up a notch to put inside your sauce or inside your uh, saute vegetables and bio means go for it. Um, but this version I'm going to do less spicy because the first one I did my favorite on 10. So with that said, <laughs> we're going to put that to the side. Also, you want to have rice. Just regular rice bottles. <laughs> you want to take your rice and you want to put inside a rice cooker. I love, let's see if you guys can see my rice cooker. This bad boy. Yes. I kid you not, this has made the world difference in my cooking when it comes to making the best rice. <laughs> I used to make rice mushy, all kinds of stuff, and I hated it. But this right here has changed my life. So you're going to take about, I'll say three cups of rice. Three cups of water, put in your rice cooker, or if you're bomb.com or making rice, then by all means, go burn on the stove and make your rice. You feel me? You feel me? All right. So, with all in all, <laughs> I'm not, so I use a cheater, a rice cooker. Take your rice, cook that, because we're going to need that later, okay? All right. Where is that? Ooh, wow. They have ghosts in my house, y'all. <laughs> all right. So, back to over here. So, as you see, Come closer. Little steamy, little steamy. Now we're gonna add the peppers. And I need to put my apron on so I won't put on my outfit. What do you think? I know. <laughs> it's so amazing. How it's so amazing how colorful peppers or just like vegetables are. I'm such a dork. Like every time I look at them, I'm like, man, it's like a rainbow. It's so pretty. It's a little things, a little things to get me, you know? It's so simple to find. <laughs> oh man. All right. Now we're ready for this. Let's get, the, <laughs> let's get the kitchen rolling. I'm rolling. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> All right. So now, I need my spatula. All right, y'all. I'm all unprepared. Let me get my life together real quick. Oh, there you go. So now, you guys have a good night, people. Go ahead and walk around real quick. So you see, you're gonna pretty much saute them, um, let the peppers brown, and stir fry almost like kind of you know stir fry. If you want to do it fast, you don't want them to sit for too long on high. You just want to get them to get a little charred. Now, if you really want to go all out, you always know, put them on the griddle. I was gonna do that, but I was like, you know, that's too much. Let me not do too much on y'all like that. Take baby steps. Take baby steps. So I was like, all right, cool. We're gonna do this. We're gonna put it in the pan and we're gonna, you know, saute and let it brown real quick in here. Cause I swear these peppers, if you love peppers, you let these bad boys oh, brown and char. Oh, oh. It's like eating, I don't know, it's like eating a it's like eating a banana almost. I don't know. It just hits different. It's all enough. It's all enough, y'all. It's all enough. So we're gonna let that sit for a second. Let me see, I feel like I'm missing something. 
I feel the older I get, the more my brain be like, bitch, we're not working today. I know. Shit. <laughs> ah. Whatever. Forget it. It'll come to me later. Anyhow. So, so tell me something. Do you like, put, put in the comments. Let me know something. Do y'all like spicy food or do you like just, you know, food with flavor or it can be basic? I don't know. I mean, I just I always want to know because I have people like tell me all the time, like, Asia, you always get some spicy. Like, damn, this stuff blows me away. Like, I can't eat that stuff. So that's who I am. I'm hot and I'm spicy. And I mean that in two ways. But <laughs> we're talking about food right now. And. <laughs> And I I love spicy food. I don't know what it is. I just it, it gets me, you know, it's also good for your metabolism too. So that's another thing to think about. But anyway, um I, I mean I just love it. So tell me something. Am I just am I the only one that really, really love spicy food like that? Or is that is that a thing? I don't know. Do you like it? If you do, what is your favorite spicy dish? How about that? And, and tell me Tell me what's your favorite spicy dish, and I might try to cook it. How about that? <laughs> All right. So now we got the red onions. We're gonna go ahead and pour the bad boys in there, like that, like that. Oh shit! It's about to get real steamy. <laughs> so. Go ahead and put the onions in, in there. And here I have minced garlic, but I'm going to put that a little bit later because I don't want that to burn. So, and I also want the flavor to actually stand out. And right now I'm going to continue with sauteing. So now this is the thing, um, because I have a lot of people that, you know, come to me about being vegan and they're like, man, um, it's a lot. I don't know. I can't cook like that. I don't like vegetables like that. Yada, yada. Um, and I'm like, you know what? I get it. Uh, and like, they don't want to let go of the meat. I get that too. That's fine. You do your own damn thing. It's your prerogative. I am not the one to judge. Let me tell you. I'm far from that. Okay. But anywho. I uh, tell them all the time, like, being vegan was just, it was like a, it was almost like a better way for me to always find a way to get my daily intake of my vitamins from the earth, like vegetables and, and fruit and stuff, you know? Um, I did it for other reasons, too, mind you, uh, like animal cruelty, things like that. Um, and that, that's even why, I, like, sometimes I try to, I, I do my hardest to be vegan but sometimes i mistake i mistakenly eat things that have eggs in it or whatever and i'm like god ah, damn it i really didn't want to eat that <laughs> so I'm, like, I, I'm vegetarian sometimes but sometimes i have an outfit i'm like shit is it made out of some kind of animal fur i did not mean to get that like i'm sorry you know so those are moments when i'm like okay I guess I can't be totally vegan, right? But my whole thing was, if I could find a way to eat more vegetables and fruits, whole grains, plant-based proteins like nuts and stuff like that on a daily, then why the fuck not, right? I mean, really. I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing for me. So I tell them all the time, like, all I'm telling you is to just eat more vegetables and more fruit and more plant protein. That's all. Or I'm not telling you, but encouraging encouraging so with this for instance this is again my mom used to make it for chicken chicken fajita you know back in the day we would take fish like tilapia or uh perch look at perch i think it was no it was whiting i think it was, wait no i think it was orange roughy or tilapia it was one of those like very thin white fish we would take that and we would take the peppers and make it that into a taco, like, or fajita, you know? 
uh, or we would do again chicken. So, or you do beef. Hell, there's now you know damn well if you really know how to make fajitas, you know damn well you put beef in the barrel, okay? Or chicken, or you do shrimp. I'm telling you, like the whole thing is that you're doing that and you're also incorporating these lovely God gifts, whatever whoever you serve gifts on this earth vegetables for your body. We need this. We need these daily vitamins every day. What's up, Mrs.? Because I have to do something on there. What? Where's your tablet? I said, and I want to play Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's only the. It's only the my dresser in my room. Huh? Yeah, I was trying to hide it from you, but I guess I can't hide it forever. <laughs> oh, Lord. Kids, I tell y'all. I ain't thinking of a new job, y'all. Want to know what it is? I'm a teacher by, by day, let me tell you. If you're teaching your kids right now at home, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're like, damn it. <laughs> when five foot five? <laughs> Get it. Come on. <laughs> Are you in school? Get off your computer. Oh, wait. You have to be on your computer. You're doing work. Ah. <laughs> it's a lot. Have to have breakfast ready, lunch ready, snack ready, snack ready, lunch ready, breakfast ready, snack ready, snack ready, snack ready then dinner. On. Yeah. Plus a teacher. That is just like, I don't know, the whole new skill. <laughs> All right, so you see, you see how the peppers are looking. They're looking real nice and subtle. Uh, uh, not subtle, Laura. Supple, real nice and juicy. You can always, like, you know, cut them up while you're going ahead and moving around, sauteing them. So now I'm going to put my garlic in. Garlic in. Okay. And now we're going to put the seasonings in. Because I've that time to spice it up. Because now that we have the vegetables pretty much sauteed, we can actually get the flavor going. Because the actual flavor from the vegetables in there, right? Right. So, first thing I'm going to put in there is garlic. I always, it's like I use garlic on a regular. It's just like, Part of my everyday diet garlic <laughs> which is good natural is definitely good so i would say about one teaspoon of garlic powder always adjust it to your liking as always onion powder so that was about this onion another one i always use often onion powder so we're going to throw out mm, one teaspoon of onion powder, oregano, let's say about one teaspoon of oregano, cumin, definitely a big ingredient to put in your Latin food, if you wanted to give that nice little Latin taste, cumin is the shit to use, believe me when I say that, all right, <laughs> cumin, you want to put a good amount of cumin in, I'll say about maybe Two teaspoons a one and a half chili powder another one to use and you want to put a little of this because you don't want to be too overpowering so I would say about half a teaspoon love this good stuff really really good seasoning chipotle uh, chili pepper again we don't want to put too much we already put regular chili pepper but chipotle gives a little barbecue taste again it's chipotle and so like about mm, okay like a, maybe a one more teaspoon of that too much of that and then cayenne pepper you definitely want to put a lot of this i say like a pinch of this because this will extend it through the roof let me tell you like two two little pebbles of it <laughs> see that pebbles <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sea salt. Can't go wrong with sea salt. Always need sea salt. It's a big staple, it seems like, in vegan diet. If you want things to taste like, I put sea salt in it. So we got that. And let's see. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing it? No, I'm not. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and get the vegetables all mixed in with those seasonings. Get the spray things up. Might be some little spray at the bottom of the pan. Oh my god. Ooh, that smells. Ooh! Hits you every time. Right in the nose. Like, wow. Spicy. Hello. 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 <coughs> <laughs> you see that? She has coated like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, caramel lines. <laughs> All right. So now, you see how the seasoning is on a quite thick. Almost like like meat almost. You see that? It's like real thick. The seasoning. Okay. So now it's like I'm gonna put about a half a cup to a cup of water in there. So the, so now that everything is in there simmer. So I'm gonna put about a half a cup to a, a cup to a half half, whew, off. half cup to a cup. <laughs> half a cup to a cup. So I'm gonna move it around. I'm gonna go ahead and So now we're gonna let that sit. So we're gonna let that sit. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and work on our casserole because by the time that is done, it's time to go ahead and put it in the oven. Right? Right. All right. So while this shit's out of my way, <laughs> first. All right. So we're gonna take a regular casserole dish, casserole dish like this, casserole. We're gonna take our rice. Actually, let me move you guys to see what I'm doing right here. So can you see? Okay. So you're gonna take your rice. We're gonna put it at the bottom of the pan. Go ahead and just break it up, get a little chunky. It's been sitting there for a while, sorry. <laughs> All right. So take your rice, spread it around the pan. We're going to take corn tortillas. You can use, uh, you, can use you know, well, you can definitely use regular tortilla, not regular, but flour tortillas. I just prefer the corn because I like the authentic taste to it. Um, but you can always use flour as well. But again, I like the corn, so that's why I'm using corn. So you just take one corn tortilla. Gonna take your refried beans, a tablespoon, 
and spread it. That's one. So we just keep on doing this. And I put about, depending on how big your tray is, I guess, you put about maybe 10 of them in there, four, five, whatever. It's up to you. But all in all, you can make as many as you want. Depending on how, you know, you like to eat. It's your business, not mine. <laughs> I just want you to eat good. Eat healthy. That's all, okay? So, just continue doing that. We'll do one more. Then we're going to go ahead and check on the peppers again. Make sure they're... Not burning. <laughs> They're getting soft and sweet and spicy. Ah! Stay on there, damn it. Okay, so that's that for now. Let's check on our peppers. Ooh, do you see that? Oh my God, I wish you guys were here. You should smell it. All that good, nice, raw, straight, good stuff. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let it sit for a little longer because it is almost done for sure. We're gonna make our sauce. So, like I said, the tapatino sauce, really good stuff. I love this man. Let me. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. Okay, y'all, look. This is what happens. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the sauce. That's my shirt there. All right. <laughs> so, you guys can see what I'm doing here. So right here I have my... As you see, I have my little blender. What do you want to call it? Bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. <laughs> so I have that. I'm going to take about, I'll say maybe like, how many? Maybe one cup of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. One cup of diced tomatoes. And then about one tablespoon to two tablespoons of the tapatio sauce. I should just make that, let's make that like a fourth cup, okay? And again, if you want to make it spicy, you can always put jalapenos in there or whatever. But again, I'm making this a little bit less spicy because I made the other one on fire. So <laughs> this one's more kiddly friendly or people can't handle spice, okay? All right. I'm so thinking about you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Let's see how it tastes. Need a little more sauce. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more. I can't do that. That was just too. too it was like. <laughs> Right now. Oh, I think red. Oh, that's there we go. There we go. There go the spice. I knew it was in there somewhere. I was like, what is this? So <laughs> now that we have our sauce ready, 
we're gonna go ahead and continue with our enchiladas. So now I'm gonna go ahead, it's about done guys. Turn off your enchiladas, or and turn off your fajita mix. We'll call it that, turn off your fajita mix. You see this is how it looks. Really, really good. Everything's all sauteed, browned, and laid to the side. <laughs> so now we're going to take our corn tortilla with the with the um beans. Put a little bit, just a little bit. You don't want too much. So you can't close the fajita or the taco or tortilla. There we go. Might not taco tortilla. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna roll it like this and put it down into the pan like this. A little peas in the blanket. <laughs> you see? Can you see? Okay. You guys can see. Okay. So then we can continue doing the same thing over and over. Lay down like that. Like try to keep it closed as much as possible. Can't be a little trick, I ain't gonna lie. But you can do it. I trust you. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. I just like can't wait to eat it. It's the smells, guys, like Toxic. <laughs> good toxic. It's a good toxic though. Also, guys, just to let you know, um, do download or subscribe to Haps. It's a great platform for you, even if you're into like doing live TV and stuff like that. And also just getting news and hearing other people's opinions on topics or whatnot, or a little how to's like what I'm doing right here. Definitely uh, download the app, subscribe, and then also you gain coins by just being a subscriber. And you can also give coins to people that you like. Like me, for instance, you like what I do, please, by all means, contribute some coins to, to what I'm about. I'm here to help us be healthy. The calls, support it. You already know. Also, I am 305 certified. Yes. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I love to dance. I love to work out. So with that said, catch me tomorrow uh, at 6 p.m. Central Time and Thursday Central Time working out, uh, getting that body together, making sure that we stay fit um, so that we can stay on this earth as long as we, we can. Right? Right. Um, so, yeah, if you like to get twerk fit, sweat, then come check your girl out, Chocolate Barbie. Get twerk fit be also for my past videos and also uh, videos. If you miss it, if you miss my live uh, uh, um, instructor class, then definitely you can always check me out on my YouTube, which is Babita Life. That's in all caps, B-B-I-D-A-L-Y-F-E. Uh, catch me on there. Uh, if you don't get to see my live videos, you can definitely see it on there later. But, yeah. Make sure you tune in, all right? That's what this, that's what the bean said. <laughs> I'm losing it, y'all. It's official. Oh my God. And also, it's also um part of the Valentine's Day this whole month. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I see that. This whole month, I'm going to be doing something about Valentine's Day that contributes to your love, your whoever you're loving or whatever. You have a nice little dinner you want to make for them, show you them how much you care. You want to um, get twerk fit and show them that you got some good, nice moves. Whatever. Let me tell you. Stick with me, baby. I'm going to show you how to be hot and spicy and love both at the same time. <laughs> all right. So as you see, I went on here and I just rolled up all of them, put the we fried beans on the bottom of the tortilla, put the uh, sauteed vegetables in, and yeah. So also, we have some leftover. I like to put some on the side, because hell, some vegetables and some rice. I could go for that, right? <laughs> so yeah. So then you have that. Now we're going to put the sauce on there. 
take my sauce, my gelato sauce, I'm gonna pour it on just like that. Just like that. And then we're gonna get cheese. I have this vegan cheese that I really like a lot. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, brands, but this one right here, Chow, I really, really like. It has a nice little creamy texture to it. It really reminds me of cheese with, you know, cow's milk. <laughs> but it's not, it's all vegan, definitely. So you're gonna take your cheese, and you're gonna spread it on like that. And there you go. That is how it looks. We're going to put it in the oven for about, I would say about 45 minutes. Put it in the oven for 45 minutes um, just for the cheese to melt and the flavors to, like, you know, get settled with the rice and everything, yada, yada. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you come out with this. Let me show you. Oh, and also you put the oven on three, three, um, 75. So put the oven on for 375 for 45 minutes, let it bake. And it comes out looking like this deliciousness. Yes, yes. Uh, top it with some sour cream. Uh, top it with uh, salsa. I have my verde sauce, which is my favorite. And I, you might not even want to do it because it already has sauce on there. It's like, can't get no sauce in this, right? But yeah, uh, verde salsa, your regular chunky salsa. Put on there, sour cream. Get your eat on. You can do it with apples. Mama cows on there. It is so delicious. <laughs> but yes. Oh, and then also, one more thing. I've got to put on there. But the, another thing I like to put on there is cilantro. Uh, fresh, fresh cilantro. Um, again, some people don't like cilantro, but uh, I like it. It has a nice little flavor to it. Um, so yeah, you also want to put that on there. And then also, another thing I like to put on there. I forgot to put on there too. It's green top onions, scallions. I put that on top of there also. Bake it. It's done. Eat it up. You won't regret it. Um, again, you want to see me make some more healthy, vegan, delicious dishes that, you know, you can substitute with your meat or whatever, or you want to eat by yourself. Please join me every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. If I'm not, you'll know. I'll let you know if anything changes. But all in all, I'll be here. Just make sure you're here and you're ready to learn how to eat better. Okay? Cook better. Whatever. You want to do better for somebody else, for yourself, whoever. I don't know. But you make sure you come here. And if you want to also get torn fit, you make sure you come here. Come here to see me, Chocolate Barbie, to show you how to live that Vida life. Till next time, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Mwah. <laughs>